All right, so in this video, I want to walk you to how to schedule a Chrome job with Google Cloud Scheduler. So this is a pretty useful service if you want to create a workflow to fully automate some of the things that you do. Before I dive into the tutorial, I want to talk about the pricing first. All right, so by default, uh, Google Cloud is going to give you three uh, free jobs per month. And you can uh, use the job as many times as you want and not going to be charged. And after that, it's going to be 10 cents per job per month which is going to be pretty cheap still. And if we go back to the top, on the Google Cloud Scheduler Pricings page, the actual running of a job is called execution. And the execution is not going to be built. That means that you can schedule a job to run as many times as you want, as long as it's still within the three jobs uh, free tier limit, then it's not going to cost you anything. And even after that, it's going to be 10 cents per job. All right, so this is going to be everything I want to discuss when it comes to pricing. I want to uh, go into my Google Cloud Console. All right, so first, navigate to console.cloud.google.com. So the first thing we need to do before we can use Google Cloud Schedule Service is we need to enable the API. So click on the navigation menu, then go to APIs and services, then go to library. And here I'm going to search for Cloud Scheduler API. Now click on Cloud Scheduler API. And here you want to enable the service. And once you've done that, we can go back to the home page. All right, so going back to the navigation menu, we want to scroll down to the application integration section. And here's the cloud scheduler service. And click into that. On the top, I'm going to create a job. All right, so for the function that I want to uh, fire or to execute, so I have a cloud function. Here, let me copy the URL. And let me refresh my Twitter account. So I have a cloud function. Basically, we'll uh, make a tweet. And I say, um, if I want to tweet ABC hello, if I press enter, and it's going to uh, send a post request. And it's going to make a tweet on my account, ABC Hello. And I want to schedule the same exact task using Cloud Scheduler's uh, service. All right, so here let's uh, give our job a name. And let's do uh, tweet job one, something like that. Then choose the region that is closest to you. And here I'm going to choose uh, US Central one. And we cannot have a space, so I'm going to make that an underscore. We can give our uh, Chrome job a description. And to figure out the frequency, I'm using this website called ChromeTab.Guru. And using this tool, I can quickly figure out the frequency that I want to execute a job. And right now it's 4.16 PM. Now I want to schedule the job every day at, let's do, uh, let's do 4 PM, 20 PM. All right, so I want to schedule my job every day at uh, 4.20 p.m. And it's going to be the uh, frequencies uh, format of values that I'm going to assign to the frequency field. Then I'm going to choose the time zone. And because I'm currently in Taipei, Taiwan, so I'm going to choose Taipei, Taiwan standard time zone. Then click on continue. For the execution type, we have HTTP, or we can use a Google Cloud Pablo sub service. I'm going to choose HTTP uh, for the cloud function that I'm going to execute. All right, so here's the cloud function URL. And I'll copy paste the URL to the URL field. And here I want to change the message. And let's do tweets. Uh, let's do cloud function. And for the HTTP method, I'm going to uh, use post method. 
we can also assign an HTTP header. And for now, I'm going to uh, leave everything as see this. Then click on continue. And here we can uh, set the retry configuration. So we can set what's the maximum time a function will attempt to execute, and what's the duration, and so on. Now I'm going to click on create to create a job. All right, so here's my uh, Chrome job that I just created. Now let me go back to my Twitter's account. I'm going to refresh the page. And to test out the function, here I'm going to click on run now. And from this uh, last run result column, it's giving me the message success. That means that the scheduler is working successfully. Now if I refresh the page, and here's the Twitter post. I want to do one more thing. Okay, so right now it's 4.19 p.m. And my job is going to be fired within the next 15 seconds. So I just wait a little bit. All right, so it's 4.20 p.m. right now. I want to go back to my uh, Twitter's account. And I'm going to refresh my page. And here I can see that the job failed to execute. All right, so if I refresh the summaries page, and here I fail. Oh, I say I know why. So every time when you want to uh, figure out the issue, and I think it's because uh, with Twitter's API, you cannot send the exact message within a minute's interval. So I need to change the message. Let me go into the job itself. I'll change the uh, frequency to Let's do 22. And for the message, let's do hello. Hello world. And update the job. All right, so at this point, uh, we just need to wait until we reach to 4.22 PM. All right, so it's 4.22 PM right now. I want to go back to my Twitter account, and this time if I refresh the page, and here's the tweets, hello world. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.